What are my thoughts on intercom units? I bought one pretty soon after buying my bike, so I have experience both with and without one, but mostly with one. They can be pretty expensive, so let's dig into whether they're worth the investment as a beginner rider. So first of all, I think that as a beginner, being able to keep in touch with other riders is a huge confidence boost. It allows you to ride in groups and let people know if you're struggling or you lose sight of the group, you get lost, pretty much anything like that. For me, this made it very easy to go out on group rides and long rides soon after passing my CBT, since I knew that I wouldn't be left behind if anything went wrong. It also allows you to ride in front of a more experienced rider and have them coach you and mentor you, since they'll have good vision of how you ride and they can give you tips. This was one of the best things I did when I passed my CVT. I rode in front of a more experienced rider and they gave me loads of advice and I improved so much more quickly than if I was trying to figure it out on my own. So I would definitely recommend doing this if you can. You can also pair the intercom with your phone's GPS for directions as a backup for something like the phone mount that I've got on my handlebars here. For example, if it's raining, you might not want to have your phone on the handlebars but can still listen. Or if you don't want to have to keep looking down to see where to go next, you can just listen to the instructions through your helmet. And I love using both together just as an extra layer of protection almost. If I miss the instruction on the um, center, I can just quickly look at the handlebars, which makes it really easy. You can also listen to music through the intercom, but I don't like to do this. I've tried it about three or four times. Every single time I've found it way too distracting, but I can imagine if you're on a really long journey, like you're going on a motorway for hours at a time, it might be nice to have some music going or like a podcast or something, just nothing too distracting. But for me personally, I, I tried listening to music. I didn't get on with it. So I tend not to do that as much now. For this reason, I find it really hard not to recommend an intercom to beginner riders but it can be quite a big investment up front. These units can get pretty expensive, but for me, my riding improved so much when I was able to talk to other riders in the group. Plus, it makes journeys a lot more fun. So let's dig into the different kind of intercoms that are available and which one might be right for you. This is a pretty good example of why I don't love riding in central London because nice wide open road, nice weather, 20 mile per hour speed limit. The two most popular intercoms you'll probably come across are the Senna 30k, which is what I have, and the Cardo Pactalk Bold. So both of these are really good because they both have some kind of mesh function. So at least in theory, if you're riding in a group and the whole group has Senna 30k's, you should just be able to join the group, turn on your mesh and connect with them automatically. In reality, how well this works is kind of questionable, but at least in theory, it's pretty good. If everyone's got same intercom, you should be able to pair with them pretty seamlessly. Although I should say about the Sender 30k, for the 200 pound or something price tag I paid for it, it's pretty dreadful, the support. The app is almost useless. And um, I bought my Sender a few months after my friends did, and we just couldn't get the Senders to mesh. It was like, just press the mesh button and they'll mesh, and we couldn't get it to work. And it took ages before we found out that you actually needed to update the firmware on both of the intercoms or on all of the intercoms for them to work together. So if you do end up getting one, make sure that you update it to the latest version and have your group do the same because otherwise they're completely useless together. In my opinion, I think the Cardo Pack Talk Bold is a little bit better. It's a bit more expensive. Right now in Sports Bike Shop, the Pack Talk Bold is 240 rather than 220 for the 30k, but when I was buying them, there was a bit more of a difference between them. But the Cardo Pack Talk Bold is fully waterproof as opposed to just the Senna's water resistance. So, with the Senna, if it breaks due to water damage or not covered, they won't replace it for you, which I think is a bit crap. Um, but with the Cardo, it is fully waterproof, so you should be fine. I have used the Senna 30k in pretty heavy rain and it's been completely fine, but I've also heard some people saying that they've used it in heavy rain and it hasn't been fine. I haven't used it in the rain for multiple days in a row so maybe maybe the water eventually would start to get to it. But anyway, the Cardo is fully waterproof and also I think the speakers it comes with are a little bit better. You get JBL speakers. Um, I haven't heard them firsthand but at least I think in theory they're a little bit better than the, Card uh, the Senna's ones. So I would probably go for that but the reason I went for the 30k is because the people I ride with most often have 30k's. So this is what I'd recommend, get whichever one matches your riding group or your friends because it just makes it much easier to connect them together and you know that you're probably not going to have any issues with connectivity. So for example, I can pair my Senna with my friend's Cardo just fine, but then when we start trying to ride in a group, we haven't tried it yet, but I don't know if we can pair like multiple Senna's to a Cardo or how that's going to work. So 
I would say get whichever one you prefer, but also try and get the one that matches your riding group. Both of these are pretty expensive options, so how can you keep the price down? One way is to buy a dual pack and split it with a friend. So right now, if you buy a dual center pack, it will cost you around 190 for your share instead of 220 if you buy a single one. And the cardo will cost about 200 for your half instead of around 240 for the single one. So if you can find someone to share it with, this is a nice way to save 20 or 30 pounds, something like that, which can add up. It can be a significant amount. If you don't have a friend who wants one, then try and ask on like Facebook riding groups or Instagram or something like that. If you know some people or you know some people who ride bikes, it's quite likely that you'll find someone to share one with. It's not a deal breaker if you can't, but it's just a nice way to save some money. Now on to some cheaper options. First you need to decide what you want the intercom to do. If you only want the intercom for music and GPS, you can get something like the Cardo Freecom one. This one won't pair with other units, so you can't use it for communication as far as I can tell. But like I say, if you just want it for Bluetooth and GPS and music and that kind of thing, this is perfect. This one here is £100 because it's the Cardo one, but I'm pretty sure if you just search, you know, helmet intercoms on Amazon or something like that, you'll find some kind of unknown brands, but they'll be a lot cheaper. You pretty much just want a Bluetooth system to listen to music with. If you just want an intercom so you can talk to your pillion, you can get a short range one like this one. This one's £100 for two units, so it costs you 50 quid each. So if you're frequently riding with a pillion, you want to be able to talk to them, you can use this. But the thing is, I, I think because these are short range, you can't use them to talk to other riders. If you want to be able to talk to one other rider, there's the Cardo Freecom 2, which is £120 just for one unit. So it works out a bit more, well, quite a bit more expensive. But this is a lot more versatile. You can get one for you and your pillion. You can still talk together. But then you can also pair it with like a Cardo Pack Talk Bold or something and pair it with one other rider. So yeah, it's just a bit more versatile. I would probably go for that if you have the money for it. If you don't and you know that definitely you won't want to talk to any other riders, then the cheaper version is fine. Those are good options if you only ever want to talk to one other person, but beware that if you get one like this, you're not going to be able to talk within a group. You're only ever going to be able to pair with one other rider. The Cardo Freecom 4, you can pair four units together so you can talk in a small group, and I'm pretty sure you can pair these with, you know, a pack talk bold or something, but again, it will only take four connections. So if you want to get in a big group and talk to 20 or 30 people at a time, you probably won't be able to but depending on what your needs are, you might not want to do that anyway. So it's a nice way to keep the cost down. And then if you want one where you can have pretty much unlimited connections, it's probably going to be one of those first ones that I mentioned right at the start of this section. So those are pretty much your options. You want one just for yourself, for music and GPS. You want one for a pillion. You want one for one of a rider. You want one for a small group or you want one for a large group. So depending on what your needs are, you definitely can get an uh, intercom without having to buy one of the most expensive ones. Just do your research and find out what's going to be best for your situation. I hope this overview was useful for you. I definitely would recommend an intercom for the reasons that I outlined right at the start of the video. I think for a beginner they're especially useful, but even for a more experienced rider. So let me know if you have one, which one you have and you recommend. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.